predicted we were entering the golden age of cancer treatment with new drugs that better target specific forms of disease, focusing on how bad cells replicate and how the body tries to stop it. Instead of just saying, well, we have a new drug, we now have a whole new pathway to target, a whole new area of investigation. Former President Jimmy Carter is a beneficiary of one of these new drugs. In late 2014, the FDA fast-tracked Keytruda for late-stage melanoma. It doesn't work for everyone, but in those it helps. The drug unleashes the body's immune system to attack malignant cells. Melanoma cells are able to disguise themselves or camouflage themselves within our bodies. And what Keytruda does is it removes that camouflage. Okay? It, it makes them visible to the immune system and in doing that we can then harness the power of our own bodies to fight off these cells that don't belong. Traditional chemotherapy often stops working as the cancer learns its way around the treatment, but that happens less often with immune-boosting drugs. Once the body recognizes malignant cells, it goes into full-on attack mode. The results being positive enough that the FDA recently approved the same drug for use in lung cancer. Because the same mechanism is at play in other malignancies. It's going to be present not just in the disease that we found it in or the disease where the original drug was approved, but it's likely going to play a role somewhere else in the treatment of cancer. Carter also utilized pinpoint stereotactic radiation, reinforcing the life-saving potential of cutting-edge treatments. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.